Right now, I wanna walk you through the first basic steps that I always take when I get a new computer or laptop. Now, this is the Dell 16 Plus. It's a Windows-based computer. These are the first steps for any Windows-based computer, whether it's a Dell or not, HP, whatever, as long as it's Windows-based. These are the first basics I always like to set up before I really jump into the computer and start using it for my daily work or personal business. Now, the first step, you're gonna plug it in, power it on, and get it started for the first time. Now, Windows and Microsoft is really pushing customers towards signing into their Microsoft account before they really start setting up their devices. Now, there is a workaround. I'm not gonna show that in this video, but there are ways to get around that if you are interested and you really don't wanna sign into anything, you can work around that. For me, I have a Microsoft account. There are benefits to having that. When you log in, it will pretty much save everything to your device. So if you ever have any issues with that computer, you have it registered with your Microsoft user ID, and then you can go back and help things, fix things, unlock it if you ever get locked out of it. So there are some benefits that I enjoy. So I always just log into my Microsoft account. First thing, once you're logged in, what I like to do is check for any updates. Now, any updates will show right here at the bottom on the taskbar, and it's gonna look like two little arrows pointing in a circle, and it will have a blue or an orange dot. You wanna make sure to download and install those updates often. So as soon as you see those updates come through, get those installed as soon as possible. It's gonna keep your computer up to date. It's gonna keep Windows working properly. A lot of times it includes virus protection updates. So just make sure that when you see those updates, you are installing them often as they come. Now, a lot of times you can also install them here when you op open up your Windows bar to either turn off the computer or shut it down or restart it. When you have updates, they will show in there as well. So just make sure you're staying on top of those updates and installing them every time you get them. And now we're gonna set up Windows Defender. So you can just go down here to the search bar and you can type in Windows Security and it'll come up there even if you spell things wrong like I did. Windows Security will come up here and then you wanna set up and get familiar with Windows Defender. Now, a lot of times when you get your device new, it's gonna come with one year of McAfee antivirus, which is great, use it. However, you do also wanna have access to Windows Defender. The nice thing is, is that's free. You can use it anytime you want and it comes natively on your Windows-based computer. Now down here, see we've got Windows or McAfee here showing us that we have everything's looking good. There's no threats or protection settings or updates that we need. But down here under current threats, you probably won't have that selection yet you're going to have something like turn this on or toggle. So select that, turn it on, and walk through the prompts that it gives you, and that will turn on your Windows Defender. And now with here, you can actually do a quick scan if you wanted to. So you can run that as often as you want. It'll just do a quick scan. You can also jump into it deeper if you wanted to, and you could do a not quick scan. You could do a deep scan if you really wanted to scan every file that you have on your device. That can take hours sometimes. It kind of just depends on how many files you have on your computer, how old it is, things like that. But have access to your Windows Defender, know how to use it, always download those updates because it could often update Windows Defender and any threat protection for malware and viruses and things like that. So get familiar with Windows Defender, how it works so that you can use it to make sure that your computer is safe from viruses. Now, what I like to do is download my favorite browser. Now for me, that is Google Chrome. So all of your Windows computers will come with Microsoft Edge on it automatically, but if you want Chrome, you're gonna to have to download that. So you just open up your Microsoft Edge and we're gonna, in the search bar, type Google Chrome. And then it's usually gonna be the top one here. And this is going to be the one. So I downloaded and installed Google Chrome. And then I have my favorite search engine, which I prefer. Now I've seen a lot of the new Windows computers coming with Copilot, which is this right here. So this little icon down here, we're gonna double click that to open it up. And it is AI and it comes right on the computer, which is pretty cool. So you can utilize this to your advantage, whether you're doing personal projects or professional projects, it can help you with that. And it's pretty cool. So I've tested it a little bit. I'm gonna have to dive into it a little bit more to see how good it works with some things. But but it's really helped me with some simple things already. And what I've seen right here is that it obviously can see what's on my computer.
computer here. So it's already popped up here in this like kind of middle section here and it's saying get guided help with your apps. So I could see that being very helpful, especially if you have some really complicated apps, it could give you some guides to walk you through that. Now I haven't had a chance to test it all out and I probably will do that in an upcoming video and I'll do that separately. However, that is what I like to do when setting up my new Windows-based computer. Hopefully that was helpful.